uh, it's quite amazing. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, and I, I, the tropical storm hasn't even hit us yet. And the, the wash is up. I was here at one o'clock today and there was, there was nothing here. There's no water flowing. Three o'clock, a little bit more. And it's, it's amazing, I love weather. Let's just hope people are safe. Well, the main thing is you don't want to, you don't want to drive through water that you can't see the road on because the road can be washed out and it can look like it's only a couple inches deep, but it's actually a number of feet deep. And the other thing is if the water hits the side of a car, it can push it right off the side of the road and into the deeper water like it is down here. But it's growing pretty good now. It really is. Um, a bit unprecedented. We've had storms before, but never anything quite this windy and rainy at the same time. I have a friend who just saw a 60-foot carport get blown off of his neighbor's house and carried four houses up. And there are also a few very large downed trees around the area. You just uh, you have to watch for fallen trees, and uh, you don't want to drive through the low areas. And if you do, just really slow down if there's water on the streets. If you do those things, it's fairly safe. But some people want to make big splashes and so forth, and that's not so good. And I, I'm seeing a lot more trees down. And there's a big tree that just fell over there. Um, and I probably shouldn't be out here. <laughs>
Nurse Lucy Letby will spend the rest of her life behind bars for murdering seven newborn babies and trying to kill another six, a judge ordered on Monday. She's Britain's most prolific serial child killer in modern times. The 33-year-old murdered the five baby boys and two baby girls at the neonatal unit of Countess of Chester Hospital in northern England over 13 months from 2015. She injected the infants with insulin or air or force-fed them milk. Let be refused to leave the cells to hear the sentencing delivered by Judge James Goss. This was a cruel, calculated and cynical campaign of child murder involving the smallest and most vulnerable of children, knowing that your actions were causing significant physical suffering and would cause untold mental suffering. You removed and retained confidential records of events relating to your crimes and checked up on bereaved parents. There was a deep malevolence bordering on sadism in your actions. Some of those she attacked were twins. In one case, she murdered both siblings. In another, she killed two of three triplets. In two instances, she murdered one twin but failed in her attempts to kill the other. A handwritten note reading, I am evil, I did this, was found during a police search of her home after her arrest. Whole life orders are very rare, and only three women in Britain have received such a sentence before. They include serial killers Myra Hindley and Rosemary West. The harrowing crimes committed by Letby, who was in her 20s when she carried out her killing spree, have horrified Britain. Earlier, the court heard emotional, heart-wrenching statements from the parents of those she murdered and tried to kill. The mother of one murdered baby boy said, there is no sentence that will ever compare to the excruciating agony that we have suffered as a consequence of your actions.